Welcome to Fort Stevens. And this is why we like coming down here. And that is because you can drive on the sand. We just came in sort of between these two cars, the red and the black car, there's an entry point just in there. It was a bit ruddy, but it was more ruddy this way, not this way. So we actually came in quite nicely. Uh, you can see that the sand is a little bit soft, but we should have no problems. And we can set up camp here and we can literally you know, inflate the paddle boards and do a little bit of surfing just to see what it's like. Let's go see what the ocean is like. We've only just got here. We had a lazy day today because the uh, it rained last night. We didn't actually hear it and then I heard a pitter patter. I'm like, what's that? And looked outside and it was like a fine mist rain. And so uh, we went into town, got some supplies, grabbed a coffee, did a few things. Wow. Well, it's chilly, yeah, it's chilly, but it's not super cold. It's definitely wet suit material. We did bring them, uh, and we are going to try and get in the water. I'm hoping with our wet suits. Um, I'm not a great surfer, and you're not really supposed to do it with a paddleboard, but I'm going to give it a try just to see what we can do. Um, so, and it goes on quite a ways. I think there's about, I want to say, five kilometers maybe seven kilometers that way, there is an easier access onto this beach because that access can be a bit rough. Okay, you sort of have to hit it at a bit higher speed, ride the bumps and come on out. But this is why we're here. The Peter Ardell shipwreck is there. We're gonna go check that out in a little while because uh, it's getting smaller and smaller since I've been coming down here and I've been coming down here for a while but yeah this is uh, again you can get to see this person driving behind me this is why you come down here it's because you can go on the beach it's one of the few places that you can drive on the beach and it is really really cool the Sun came out around lunchtime which is normal for here you can be overcast until about noon and then from there it's like this Come on down, that's what we say. What do you say? Come on down and join us. Anytime. So I have to speak up a bit because I didn't bring my microphone with me because of the ocean, it might get wet. But that's the entry exit point at Fort Stevens. Um, it is quite easy to get through. We just watched a Jeep go really slowly up there and they did not get bogged out. We just saw a Sprinter van, not knowing four wheel drive or not, he turned around and did not try it. Uh, we will attempt that going out. You can see the white sand, which is going to be the softest. And if I can get in line here, not bounce around, you can sort of see the tracks and the ruts that are in there. So that is your danger zone. But again, all you've got to do is deflate your tires, put it in rock crawl, and out you go. But that's the entry entrance, entry exit at four stops. And this is what's left of the Peter Ardell ship. I'd love to get a photograph of the same ship when I first came down here. And I see there's a couple of posts right there. So this is sort of the length of the boat. And I can't remember how much was showing the last time I came. But the nose is definitely, or the bow is definitely disappearing. Sandra singing the tune to Titanic, wishing that I might well be Leonardo DiCaprio. I wish, in my dreams. See, I told you. English windbreaker because the wind is coming from north to south which means it's on the other side of this windbreaker and it does help 
I was looking for something to push the bars into the sand, but no need. The sand is soft enough, I could push them in. I was actually impressed. Normally I'm beating those poles into rock. Oh no, the tide's coming in. We're gonna have to move up here a little bit. Apparently high tide here is gonna be 6.20 tonight. So I guess at 3.30 in the afternoon, the tide is coming in. It's coming in a bit quicker than I expected, to be honest with you. But let's see. The only problem we have to worry about is the height of the sea coming in between here and here because you need to sort of do a sharp U-turn to go up and it can impede your angle of attack getting up that driveway shall we say so you just have to watch out for that We got annihilated and we weren't expecting that one. That was a big surge. Oh, that got my bum wet. <laughs> We're too busy watching a pelican strike the water and this one came right up to here. Look at under the truck. Too funny, too funny. Our water bottles, look at it, all knocked down. <laughs> Sandra's water is right behind you. It'll be fine. It's waterproof. That was too funny. I tried to get the video up. And Bella was lying there. <laughs> it's time to move. We evacuated. And we moved all the way up there just because, but I'm going to have to make a decision soon because the exit point is starting to take on water as well, we do need that run. Okay, I'm going to do this video, I don't normally do for food, we've eaten food around the Warrington area before many times and we've never really been satisfied, but look at this for fish and chips, this is cod and chips. Look at chips. the size of it. This is the first time we've had the biggest piece of fish ever. And Sandra's got three. Three big pieces with a lot of french fries. And it's called the fishmonger. There you go, fishmongers right here. Absolutely hot wow. food. I haven't tried the fish yet, but I'm going to. Sure. But sample. The fish is... Ample oh size God. portions. Sorry? It's fresh fish. The tuna, if you're having tuna, is fresh. Fresh, the rock cod, everything is fresh. And if they don't catch it, it's not on the menu. Cool. And I'm just gonna get you a quick video shot there of the menu has. Awesome. It's not, it's not super thick batter, which is amazing. And the cod, Absolutely delicious. Welcome to day two morning rain. And what do I mean by that? Yesterday we woke up to rain. Yeah, it had rained, but it had stopped as well. Only Four. for maybe half hour yesterday. And today it's forecast for about an hour. So seven o'clock to eight. It had started at seven. I'm not sure if you can see the rain. Literally, what we had two hours of rain at South Beach just as we left. We had a piece of rain yesterday morning before we woke up, and this is raining while we're actually awake. But this is eight o'clock in the morning, so it's not a big worry. It's supposed to be cloudy.
tidy for the rest of the day. We just changed our plans a little bit to maybe go and explore the, the town of uh, Astoria today instead of going to the beach. So it rained this morning as you heard earlier and this area was getting quite wet as it still shows it and Sandra said why don't we put the veranda up for rain and I'm like hey that's a really good idea and so we did which expanded our footprint which we knew <laughs> it sounds logical but we're being a bit dumb and so it has actually worked out really well you can see here that we would normally be sort of sleeping or camping in that area with sort of that which gives us a lot of room but now that we've expanded the veranda from the kitchen area please explore ex please excuse bella she is getting excited because we're leaving if i stand in the sink area it gives you an idea of how much more room we've actually had under here so we can push our chairs that way we just moved in to have our cup of tea and a rest and it all drips off wonderfully and if i go and stand in the veranda area and look back you can actually get a feel for how much bigger this is so that's good um it's still spitting it is currently 11 o'clock and we're getting ready to depart we still got our setup that we had at uh, harris beach so we ice maker fridge microwave toaster uh, cooler uh, this extra line here is working really well for our chandelier light but it's now hanging using as a drying rack because of our outside drying rack is outside it's getting wet we did deploy the uh, sort of warming skirt for our winter like we did in Harris as well to stop the sun coming in but this is actually here to prevent the rain from coming and dripping down this area here on my side <laughs> yeah on Sandra's side well we don't really come in and out on my side when it's wet because of this privacy shade that we've put up is working really well so I just wanted to give you that quick update uh, on what we're doing today is probably going to just go around uh, town go look at a few things there's a sunshade that we're interested in we're going to see if they have it down here and other than that we might go find the Goonies house we don't know we'll see we'll see, we'll see what happens with that so it's a weird morning but yes yeah, it's slow okay. and if I give you an outside view it's very sort of smoky through the trees if I go the other side towards the ocean, so if we're looking west, you can sort of see that it's very sort of misty. So today is going to be a weird day. We don't even know what we're going to do. And that's us. Come to seaside, they said. We did, we said. Why, we said. We're crazy. Look at the weather. This one hour of rain or two hours of rain we're supposed to have had this morning has not stopped yet well it has it's been on and off but it looks like in seaside itself they have a massive volleyball contest whether in progress or been rained off i'm not sure but look how big that center court and then look at it all down there goes on forever and ever goes on for miles and miles <laughs> and <laughs> miles and miles but there you go anyway but Seaside is quite nice, it has a wonderful beach, and you can see the surf. rolling waves, the surf. I said to Sandra, we should get the paddle boards out and get the wetsuits on, because you're going to get wet anyway. But this is Seaside's beachfront. But the pirate's not going in the water. Yes, Sandra has a sty in her eye. And I've nicknamed her Jack Sparrow today because she's a pirate. And she has a pirate's parrot right down there. And then if you go behind, this is the town centre. And there's a big amusement arcade and things like that. So we're going to wander around town today because of the wet day. So I got my plane right here. And we're going to take it up the column. 
and send it on its way. And again, this was we're walking around the column area. Got a wonderful view here of the bridge. And Sandra has her plane. And we can't take Bella. So we will put her in the car and let people up there sending their planes off. You get this wonderful architecture of the history around this area. It's quite amazing. Wonderful. I see a guy and a girl up there with a plane. Oh, there it is. Oh. Wow. Circling down. <laughs> Let's see if we've got another one. There we go. There's another one. A lot of wind over there by the way that they're spiraling down. And there goes another one. Going around the tower. Oh, it went around the back. There it is. Oh, it hit the tower. Woof. Fun times. And this is what it is like. Spiral staircase all the way to the top. She's gonna say it as I'm sure she's gonna say it. Uh, you'll have to. Uh, I was gonna say she's afraid of heights, so <laughs> you gotta go on the outside. Climbing the Astoria Column. So, looking up there, we're about halfway. And Sandra's actually going to turn around and go down. Alrighty. Okay. Sandra's going to turn around and head back down. And I will see her from the top. Here we are, coming to the top, and there's 164 steps. There we go. Step outside. You can see various planes on the roof of the building and in the tree. Quite a few in the trees around here. Look at this lot. Just in there, see a whole pile. And then even more over there. So cool. And if we have a look from the very top, we see the harbor. Oh yeah. And there she is. Sandra is down there. Heading towards Bella. actually higher than this helicopter right there he's actually curling around Let's see where's he going Go 
going down towards the railway station. This is actually pretty cool. Just holding on to my camera because I'm scared to drop it right now. Coast Guard, which is over that area as well. All right, there she is. Let's see if we can get her attention. There she is, waving back. All right, so. Let's fly number one plane. Here it goes, number one plane. And we'll see where it goes, shall we? Oh, let's correct the tail plane here. Oh. somewhere down there. Sandra's going to get her plane. It's too funny. Just down there. She caught it to bring it back up to the top. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Give her a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see if we throw it this side. Okay. We'll throw it now down this way. Here we go. Wow, that's a good one. Wow, that one's a superb flight. It's still hovering and into the bushes. Could we hit that car? Ah, oh, right down in the blackberry bushes. That was a pretty good flight. Sandra's disappointed that she couldn't get the second one. <laughs> All right. And again, our views. Beautiful. I believe you've got the Astoria Airport over there where the Coast Guard helicopters are based out of. You've got the Coast Guard that we just saw over here. There's two ships in right now, right there. And I believe we're coming in here in a couple of years uh, on a cruise ship and we're not quite sure where it's going to come in. And you've got the bar, I forget the name of it, it's not the Astoria bar, but there's a huge sandbar out there which is one of the most uh, dangerous bars in US. And on the Washington side over here, you have um, a cape where they do all the lifeguard boat training because of this sandbar or because of this bar. And this bar is always moving. So um, it's going to be interesting to come in here on a cruise ship, come under the bridge. And we're not sure where it's going to park. We've never seen a cruise ship in here. And so it could be in that area over there, but we're not sure. Very cool. And if you ever want to go to a really cool museum, you have the Maritime Museum right there. 
and that is a really really cool building it's got lots of good information in there about the bar about coast guard this is a coast guard town so and apparently the goonies home is somewhere in this area we're going to go down and see it and down we go go see Sandra and Bella and here is the plane that Sandra gave to me to send down and she got it back again Yay. and mine apparently is in a bush over there we're gonna see if we can see it I got mine back as well so we can play with these at the campsite maybe Sandra's got a, maybe Sandra's gonna be a red baron and I'm gonna be Billy Bishop there we go so we're in the gift store which is located right here at the column and I saw this and this is amazing not very often I like souvenirs but every now and then I do and this is showing the shape of the state of Oregon with all the points of interest now we've done everything well, not everything but we've done majority of everything on the west side and this looks really cool and we found out also if I place this over to one side and I know I'm gonna make a mess of this we found out about all the movies that were made here in Astoria which we did not know about uh, including apparently the school from Kindergarten Cop uh, let's see what we can find here yeah Kindergarten Cop um, the Goonies you probably would know way more about this stuff than I would because I definitely don't know many of these at all um, Free Willy I thought that was all done in San Diego I did not know that was here Murder She Wrote look at that Quantum Leap there is a few I know here actually this is really cool so there is that and there is the house for the Goonies which we're going to go and find and this is the gentleman that owns it as you know be respectful this and the other so giving us the address to go and see this so just wanted to let you know about certain things that we just picked up at the column